All right, Gadgeteers, welcome back. So this is just a short video to let you know. I've been working on a couple videos, but I got a little bit sidetracked with a little project I was working on on my new Lenovo Yoga 920. Um, basically what was going on is when I went into the settings for the mouse pad, about, I don't know, 80% of the different settings were grayed out. So of course I did a little research, went and looked around, and I found out based on a couple of different sites that if you remove the live input package it would fall back to the synaptics package which had been deprecated and taken out of Fedora in lieu of the live input package but the problem was of course when the live input package was running many of the mouse pad settings were grayed out so I was having a hard time getting the mouse across the screen it was moving very slow and that speed setting that I needed not acceleration but speed was grayed out so anyway I thought well that's easy I did a DNF remove live input and it the sites recommended a reboot which I did I rebooted and lo and behold I blew my system up so I can't get into any graphical interface, which isn't a problem. I just went ahead and booted into multi-user mode. But for some reason, the OS is fairly broken. I was able to, over a period of time, get that live input package reinstalled. But unfortunately, it didn't help. So it's really interesting. When the system boots up, it just locks up. If I have it set for graphical user mode um, but if I do multi-user mode I can at least boot it up and do things in the command line so long story short you know when you're in Linux or any operating system for that matter you're still learning about things and I took the plunge and took the chance I could have done it in my virtual machine first probably would have been smart but I went ahead and did it in my actual system and not a big deal really I'm probably gonna work on it a little bit longer and see if I can figure it out if I can't I'm really not too worried I'm just gonna use my bootable media with Fedora 27 on it and peel off my mark directory and just rebuild it for me it's always easier to just rebuild Linux really quickly the thing is even if I have to take a lot of extra time, I like to do it anyway because I would prefer to learn something from my experience. So I don't want to give up just yet, but I'll come back with a video and let you know what the results were. And also I've got two more videos in the hopper. One I'm going to do on the installation of FreeBSD hopefully soon. And another one is going to be somewhat of a surprise. It's not really a huge deal, but it is very interesting and was recommended to me by a viewer. So, stay tuned. I'll see you soon. Don't go anywhere. Thanks for watching. This video was made possible with support from viewers like you. If you find this video useful, consider becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a month at patreon.com forward slash fast gadgets.